my name is Judith and I'm the job developer for the COAST program. As you know, here at COAST, you can select from one of our eight different vocational non-credit certificate programs that will prepare you with the entry-level skills you need to pursue a career in culinary, guest services, porter, horticulture, music, drama, creative arts, and animal care. Let's find out more about the available employment opportunities from our community partners. And to start off, here's Vanessa from Ralph's. Hello, my name is Vanessa Staley. I am the Human Resources Specialist for Ralph's Districts 7 and 8. I've worked for Ralph's for over 19 years and I've worked in different stores and I've held many different positions. So, I like what I do. Ralph's is more than a grocery store and the company offers more than just a paycheck. We offer flexible scheduling, training and career advancement opportunities, great health care and retirement plans. When you join our team, you even get associate discounts on our brands. For those of you who would like to continue your education, you can get tuition reimbursement up to $3,500 a year and up to $21,000 over the course of your career. We offer educational leave of absences and scholarships for children of associates. So make sure you apply and tell your friends to apply. We don't want anyone to miss out on a good deal. See you in the stores. Thank you for being here and taking the time to talk to us today. Um, I do have a few additional questions for you. What are some positions that you feel our students would be capable of applying at Ralph's? So at Ralph's, um, for entry level positions, we have quite a few. So we have the courtesy clerk position, which is the person who helps bag groceries or just kind of helps the cashier out throughout their shift. Uh, we also have a service deli clerk position, and that's part of the cooked food section, and a bakery position, which is part of um, the baked goods area. Meat clerk position, uh, which helps the butcher um, put product out throughout the day. Uh, produce clerk, and we also have a Starbucks clerk position, which um, we all enjoy our coffee, so. <laughs> well, thank you for that. And my other question for you, I know with some of our students, um, accommodations is one thing that we, we try to help them be self-advocates about. So if our students at any point during their interview process or application process uh, would want to ask for accommodation, what do you feel is the best way that they should approach this? Um, so after they've been hired, um, if they need extra accommodations, they can just ask their manager or the store leader um, and they should be able to accommodate perfectly. All right, well, thank you. Those are all my questions that I have for you today. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll make sure that all of our Coast students come to you at Ralph's. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Now, let's hear what Chacha from the Disneyland Resort has to say. Hello, my name is Chacha. I'm a recruiter in casting for the Disneyland Resort. This year, the Walt Disney Company is celebrating 100 years. Can you believe it? Countless movies, TV shows, products, and more. As Walt Disney once said at the grand opening of Disneyland, to all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America, with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Becoming a cast member at Disney, you have an opportunity to immerse yourself in any role and become part of an environment where it supports diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. That means everyone is more than welcome to apply and interview with us. As recruiters, we make it our job to find the role that will set you up for success and elevate you. In our interview process, we will get to know you, your skills, knowledge, and background. At our parks and hotels, we have roles such as attractions, merchandise, culinary, lifeguard, housekeeping, and more. When you become a cast member, you open the door to wonderful benefits and perks such as Disney Aspire, a career development program that offers 100% tuition paid upfront for hourly employees. Other benefits we offer are commuter assistance, childcare options, and wellness programs. Having these benefits help our cast members to live their best life, grow personally and professionally, and take advantage of the special extras that only Disney can provide. If you are interested today for more information and would like to apply, you can go to parkjobs.disneycareers.com slash Disneyland Resort. 
what are some of the entry level positions that they can find at the Disneyland Resort? Wonderful question. The type of roles we have in our parks range from anywhere from our attractions, which are our wonderful rides you see at Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure, all the way to merchandise, which is a retail role cashiering, guest handling. Um, we have food and beverage uh, from anything from food service workers to busters to stewards. And then our very, very amazing magical custodials, which we have all around the park, keeping it nice and beautifully, magically clean. Um, and then as well as our hotel positions, we have several in culinary, lifeguard, and housekeeping. Thank you. My other question is, so some of our students do would need accommodations. What do you think? How would you suggest would be the best way that this should be brought up? Should they be asking for an accommodation upon applying or should this be something that should be asked for once they've accepted a job? Absolutely. One of our um, processes during our interview is actually that very question. We do you require an accommodation? Um, we usually do it right after a candidate has read the job description of which they want to be in. Uh, once they've uh, read it thoroughly, we ask them if they understood and if they require an accommodation or they feel comfortable performing the tasks that are in hand. At that moment, they may say no, we proceed with the interview. If they say yes, we don't ask for any further details as far as accommodation, but instead we send them the appropriate paperwork that they will fill out on their end and send it to our amazing accommodations team. And then us as recruiters have our own paperwork that we must fill out. Uh, technically, we follow up with them in about two weeks, hoping that they were submitted and everything is going as well as the process needs to. Well, thank you. Those are all my questions that I have for you today. And I, once again, thank you for being here with us at Coastline. Thank you for having me. These are just a couple of our recruiting partners. I hope you are as excited as I am to have them on board. If you have any further questions, my name is Judith Quesada. Feel free to reach me at the information below.